Thanks for joining us. I'm Anna Ritas Rodriguez with the WBZ News Update. Shrewsbury police say they're looking for the hit and run driver that killed a pedestrian. Police say the victim is a 59 year old woman. She was on Route 140 around 5 last night when they say she was hit by a silver or gray Toyota Tundra. Police say the vehicle might have a small dent in the upper right corner as a result of the crash. If you know anything about what happened, you're being urged to call police. The FBI is looking for a bank robber who agents are calling the faceless bandit. Officials say this man robbed three banks in Fall River in the past seven weeks. During each crime, the thief wore a large black hoodie, dark ski mask, and sunglasses. The FBI is offering a $5,000 reward for information leading to his arrest. A debate is brewing in North Andover over plans to dress up a cell tower as a tree. Here's a look at what the 130-foot tower would look like. We're told it would go up next to the foster farm, which is protected land. Some neighbors say it's an eyesore that will hurt property values. But there's also the growing demand for better cell service. Both sides will get the chance to weigh in on the proposal at a planning board meeting. We want to send things over now to meteorologist Barry Burbank. Everyone's asking what's happening. It's too cold, Barry. It's, it's too cold. We've been, uh, been spoiled by all the warm weather, Anna Ritis, and it's going to get even colder and colder by the end of this week. In fact, it may be even cold enough tonight for some areas to see a few flakes of snow mixing in with the rain. We see that off to the southwest of us now, a whole shield of precipitation, and it's on its way to the northeast. So we'll have low temperatures tonight, which will be getting down into the 30s, upper 30s in Boston, uh, mid-30s in Metro West, some lower 30s out in central Massachusetts, and then high temperatures tomorrow should be around 46 to about 50 degrees in some locations. And here's what's going to be happening with that precipitation shield. It starts to overspread the area during the night, uh, mainly during this evening hours. We get mostly light rain and sprinkles, that sort of thing. Doesn't look like it's going to be terribly heavy anywhere. But in some areas out here in central Massachusetts, on towards late evening and toward midnight, it'll occasionally mix with some wet snowflakes. So I can't rule out a couple spots maybe having a little bit of snow on the ground, but mostly on the grassy surfaces way out there, and we ob obviously nothing showing up on the roads. So it'll be moving out tomorrow morning, it'll be clearing up, so tomorrow should be a nice sunny day. And then the cold air really comes down from Canada. It's released, and look at this purplish shading, pink and purple coming down. That comes right at us, and it's come blasting in here on Friday. So now it looks like it is going to be coming on Friday, as we thought a few days ago. It'll only be in the 30s. We have definitely the feel of winter Friday and Saturday. In fact, the low temperature Saturday morning will be about 24 in Boston and in the upper teens to near 20 in many of the northwestern suburbs. It is going to be sort of a frigid weekend, much different than we've been used to over the last, well, weeks and months, Anna Ritis. Well, Barry, it was bound to happen. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Anna Ritis Rodriguez. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.